when you get a detector kit, it's worth getting out all the different bits and just uh, familiarising yourself with the equipment. So you've got the actual detector itself, so the green box, um, a microphone and lead, which is all one bit. Um, you've got a battery charger here with one set of batteries in, which are colour coded with the same colour and another set of batteries which are actually already in the detector. Um, all load bits and pieces, battery charger, um, SD cards, and um, you've got a tool for undoing the, the, the lid of the detector, and on the other end you've got a little tool for actually pushing the spike into the ground, which I'll show you here. Uh, the microphone goes up high on the end of a pole, and um, that's supported by a stake which pushes into the ground. So I'll get started by very quickly showing you how to set the detector to, to record. So if you take this tool and if you go to the corners of the detector and just unscrew the, um, the screws at each corner there and the lid just comes off like that. The next thing you do is take a SD card and memory card and you push it into the slot that's free here it says slot a and you just click it into place and you hear it's that kind of clicking noise next thing you do is turn the detector on by pressing the small switch on the right to up to power it on and after a few moments the screen will switch itself on and then the only thing you need to change in terms of the settings is to put in your grid reference. And the way you do that is to use these buttons, the select, back and up and down buttons. You first of all click the select button and if you go down to settings, so click down button to settings, click select again, down one more to location and select. And what you'll see is uh, there's a line which says prefix and then survey TG1000. What you need to do is scroll along using the select button until you get to the grid reference and then change that to your grid reference. So um, let's say mine's TF1200 and to save that information you scroll over the end of the line and the cursor goes back to the start of the line. So you can check its work by clicking the back button and then going back into location and you see it saved that. Now to actually activate the detector you go to the the wake exit button over, over on the left hand side click that once and you see it's going to sleep until um, 6 o'clock uh, on today's date. What you then need to do is put in the the microphone lead so you push it into place and then very gently just screw the, the lock on there. Next you take the, take the lid and you place it back in position. So here you've got a tiny window there which on the right hand side and you just very lightly screw up the, the screws on each corner just to hold the lid in position. To check that the detector is activated, every minute um, there will be a green flash um, in the, the little window on the lid there. Uh, once it actually reaches a re recording time, which was set to by default to 6 o'clock here, it will flash once a second. The next thing you do is you want to get the microphone up into the bat's flyway, so up into the air. And the way you do that is, first of all, you take um, one segment of the pole with the stake and you see it's got a yellow mark on and you push that into the ground up to the yellow mark, it's about 20 centimetres I won't push it through the carpet here and then you take the the pole and you on the yellow the yellow ended bit that just sits on top of the stake like that and then you can take the microphone and there's a microphone holder which just sits right on top of 
that pole and if I just move that up there you see the microphone just goes up into the air and sits up there and it doesn't matter if it moves in the wind that's absolutely fine and the microphone you just want it pointing down slightly um, and this is just to prevent water from gathering on the microphone um, but that's absolutely, absolutely fine as it is there and you can just uh, tidy things up by taking the bits of velcro which are on the pole and um, just connecting it to the to the lead there and ideally you you then put the detector on the ground hide hide the equipment as well as possible if it's in more of a public place um, and then at the end of the survey you take the memory card recordings put it in a free post envelope and it comes back to us along with your recording sheet um, we let you know what's recorded